What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Race. Now that season 4 of Stranger Things has ended, things were left on a confusing note. Thankfully, this isn't the end for the show. We still have another season coming faster than ever. But after the shocking and devastating season 4 finale, we wonder what could happen in season 5. The final season. As much as it hurts to say, the showrunners have confirmed that season 5 will indeed be the last season of the show. The hit show will conclude with its fifth and final season. The show's creators, Matt and Ross Duffer, announced the news with a bittersweet letter to fans on February 17th. Even though we know that one last season is coming our way, we can't help but wonder just how soon it will arrive. Well, as sad as we are to say it, we might have to wait a year or two. Season 1 and 2 came out a year apart, while seasons 3 and 4 were two years apart. The Duffer brothers explained that the wait shouldn't be as long this time, but they haven't started filming yet. They have confirmed that they will begin writing it in 2022, and many have hinted that the actual filming will probably begin in 2023. So, according to us, the predicted release date could be early or mid-2024, which is still a long wait for us to see what will happen to Hawkins, and more importantly, what will happen with Vecna. Luckily, we will have nine long episodes for the final season to conclude, and give us all the answers we are looking for. You should probably get ready for another two or three hour long finale. A Time Jump Throughout the seasons, we have already seen time jumps, but most of them have been a few months or a year max. Well, going into season 5, we might start the season with a huge time jump. It appears that the Duffer brothers are considering another time jump. The idea behind this is that the kids of Stranger Things are all grown up now and have changed so much that they won't be able to play 15 or 16 year olds. Millie Bobby Brown, who plays Eleven, is 18 now, and Joe Keery, who plays us once hated but now super loved Steve, turned 30 this year. Given all that, the final season might push the show to be set in 1987, but if the show jumps more than a year, the kids might even catch up to their actual ages. We are still not sure how big the time jump will be, but we are a bit worried that if it's a time jump larger than one year, it might change up the storyline, given how season 4 ended. With the upside down spreading fast in Hawkins and the threat of Vecna becoming very, very immediate, just how forward in the timeline will they jump? This will be something that the Duffer brothers will have to work on, and keep in mind as they are writing season 5. Hopefully, it will be just as good as Season 4. Fewer Settings In Season 4, we were given three or four different settings throughout the entire season. We had the Hawking crew that were fighting Vecna and dealing with all the sudden deaths in the town. Next, we had the California crew of Will, Mike, Jonathan, and his new friend Argyle. Then we had Joyce and Murray in Russia as they tried to free Hopper. I heard from your friends. They're bringing your money to Alaska. Well, today I hope. And lastly, we had Eleven with Dr. Brenner in an underground facility, as they are trying to get Eleven's powers back. All in all, we had a lot of settings to keep track of in a few different stories. Even though the main part was happening in Hawkins, we still got scenes of the California crew trying to find Eleven and Joyce and Murray flying on a plane to save Hopper from a Russian prison. It was honestly all over the place. The show continued to jump between settings pretty smoothly, but the Duffer brothers have explained that season 5 will focus on keeping everyone together in Hawkins. According to them, what made Season 4 so interesting was that everyone was scattered to the winds. However, Season 5 will be all about bringing everyone together to the place where it all began. With everything together in one place, maybe they'll finally be able to get rid of Vecna and close the gate to the Upside Down once and for all. Who will come back? The main question after the big Season 4 finale was, who will return in Season 5? Why don't we start with the good news first? At the end of Season 4, we saw that the original boys will be back including Will, Mike, Dustin, and Lucas, together with Eleven, who is probably the key to putting an end to the entire nightmare. Alongside the young crew members, we will also see Nancy, Jonathan, and Steve going back to battle to save Hawkins. And of course, who can forget about Joyce and Hopper, who will be back in business as mom and dad. In reality, anyone who didn't die could make a return in Season 5. That includes Dr. Owens, even though his whereabouts are currently unknown, and Murray, who made it out alive with Joyce and Hopper. <laughs> Fly right. Roger that. Fly right. Now for the sad part that everyone was wondering about, it is unlikely that Eddie will come back to season 5. In the season 4 finale, Eddie, played by Joseph Quinn, sacrificed himself against the Upside Down Bats to buy more time for Nancy, Robin, and Steve to get to Vecna. In the process, he ended up quite injured and later on died in Dustin's arms. 
Throughout the season, Eddie has become a fan favorite character, and while watching his death scene, many fans wanted him to make it. When asked about his character, Quinn said that he would love to come back for the final season. He's not only missing his left arm, but his left arm. <laughs> However, he believes that his story has already been told. But we can still hope, right? What will happen? The final shot of season four showed us massively hellish clouds looming above Hawkins and a field of flowers slowly dying. It goes without saying that the war between Upside Down and Hawkins is fully on. This shows that season five will show us the last fight the gang will ever fight against Vecna and the Upside Down. One theory is that Eleven will finally level up now that we've seen that Hawkins' lab has serious potential of creating prodigies with god powers. She will gain more and more powers to eventually beat Vecna, but she will probably need some more help doing it. Another theory that has been going on about the final season is that either Will or Max will develop powers. Max was the only one who barely survived Vecna's grasp, but it has left her in a coma. Many have suspected that she will eventually wake up from the coma and gain powers that will allow her to support Eleven in the final battle. The Duffer brothers even explained that Max being in a coma will be incredibly relevant to Season 5's storyline. As for Will, many have questioned whether he has gained powers after spending time in the Upside Down and after the Mind Flayer has been controlling him. Even in Season 4, Will was still able to sense him and know if he was close. So does this come from the power he has? Will we ever learn why he was the first victim and the first one captured? Also, we do expect some of our beloved characters to die, as every season so far we have seen deaths, but not once to one of the main characters, so that is coming to think about. Potential Spinoff After announcing that the fifth season will be the last one of the show, the Duffer brothers explain that there are still many exciting stories to be told in this world of Stranger Things. With this, they have confirmed that they have an idea for a spinoff that they are super excited about. However, they haven't revealed the idea just yet, and they believe that everyone will be surprised. They have already started developing the series, but it won't be based on the beloved characters we know. In fact, the creators want fans to know that the spin-off will be completely different from Stranger Things, with only one connection to the show being storytelling sensibility. So far, no one knows what the spin-off will be about, but we guess we'll see in no time. On a related note, we wanted to know, what are your expectations of Stranger Things Season 5? Let us know in this comment section below. If you'd like to see more amazing videos such as this one, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of them. And as always, thanks for watching, guys.